Hello and welcome. This is the Let's Learn Python tutorial series here on Code with Connor. Uh, my name is Adam Connor. I am a high school math and computer science teacher, and I'm excited to teach you some Python. Uh, I just want to take a minute and go through the course so you know what's coming up. And then, yeah, you can palm into the next video if you want to just jump start right into it. In the course, each unit is going to include a series of videos, depending on the size of the unit, it might depend on whether it's three videos or five videos. In each video, I'm going to do guided examples with you as I explain a topic. Uh, I'm going to leave you with a coding challenge at the end of the lesson, something for you to go off and complete on your own. And then obviously after the first video, I'll be starting them with quick solution to the previous challenge. So just so that you don't feel lost if you're not keeping up. And then obviously at the end of that video, we'll give you a new challenge. At the end of each unit, I'll give you a unit project if you want to go off and try it on your own. And then share what you did with me. Uh, post it in the comments uh, or let me know where I can find it and I'll go have a look. I'm excited to see what you guys create and uh, any spins that you put on it. So what are we going to cover? I'm going to go through five units on a project. We're going to start with the basics where we go through comments, printing, variables and their types. We'll go through the math and the random libraries. We'll go through user input for console programs. In unit two, we're going to do decision making. So this includes Boolean variables and statements. It includes conditional and logical operators, uh, if, elif, and else statements. Uh, short circuit evaluation for while loops, turtle graphics, a little bit of turtle graphics, we're not going to do anything crazy, uh, and then nested loops. Uh, unit three, we're going to talk all about functions. This is where we start to get into like program execution. This is like core stuff for any programming language. So we'll talk about no parameter and return functions. We'll talk about uh, functions that take parameters, functions that return values. We'll look at try and accept statements. And then we'll talk about globals versus a call and return structure for your program. Unit four is going to go into strings specifically, so like words and sentences. And we're going to look at indexing, substrings, immutability of strings. We're going to look at looping through a string and functions. Last unit is unit five, where we're going to look at data structures. So data structures, we're going to look at tuples and index notation. We're going to look at lists, which are really powerful, and list functions. We're going to talk about two-dimensional lists and unpacking and packing lists into variables. And then lastly, we'll touch briefly on dictionaries, keys, and the in keyword in Python. Then we're going to wrap it up with a end of course project. So I'll present a few different options to you that you might want to do as an end of course project. And obviously these are things you can find online for, you know, if you want to just go and find a project that walks you through the code, do that. That's great. But if your goal here is to actually walk away with any real understanding, that's going to come from actually coding. You know, it's going to come from the, I'm typing code for two hours and I can't figure out why my code won't compile. And working your way through those kinds of challenges is how you're going to learn to program. Uh, if your goal is just to make something cool and not actually understand anything behind it, there's lots of great instructables out there and other great resources to build a tic-tac-toe game or to build, build whatever. And they'll walk you through every line of code. But it's not going to help you when you go to do your first project on your own or go to contribute to a GitHub repo. You're not going to be able to do that because you're not going to understand any of the actual code. One of the biggest eye openers for me when I first started looking into actually working as a developer was the ability to read and understand code. So when you walk into a project and there's already a, you know, 300, 400 file code base, you've got to go through that code base and understand the structure before you can ever contribute to it. And, and that requires a pretty deep understanding of a lot of these concepts. So, you know, by no means will this, uh, you know, course equate to a four year or, you know, two year degree after high school, but uh, it should give you a good introduction to programming, a good introduction to a language that's very user friendly. And the concepts from within this course are going to carry over to whatever else you want to learn afterwards. I'm glad you're here. Uh, if you like the videos, be sure to like, share, subscribe. Uh, keeps me going. And uh, yeah, good luck.